What's going on guys? This is Josh. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a video on how I do my thumbnails. I have gotten a lot of questions in the last couple of days, in the last couple of weeks really, about how I do my thumbnails. And so I'm going to do a little tutorial video since I can't go live today. You're just going to get a real quick tutorial videos on how I make my thumbnails. So in my thumbnails, I always do, um, I always use the Photoshop program. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And um, Photoshop is a paid program, but there are other alternatives that you can get out there. Like uh, I think there's a program called GIMP that you can download, which I'll probably put a link to both Photoshop and GIMP down in my description so you can get them. So the first thing you want to do is, uh, now that we have Photoshop opened up, go ahead and open your browser. And you're going to look for the main image that you want to use in your thumbnail. Um, I usually do Fortnite videos, so what I do is I go to Reddit. Reddit is a, uh, if you don't know what Reddit is, it's basically the front page to the internet. You can find just about anything on here. Um, but these are all the subreddits. And you're going to want to go to, the one I use is Fortnite Photography. You click on that and it's going to show a bunch of screenshots that people have taken. Um, I typically use one of these. There are a lot to choose from. But really you just find something that you know that stands out to you, something you want to use. Um, if you don't want to go to Reddit, you can always go to Google Image and just look for a Google Image search. And sometimes you can type in, you know, Fortnite screenshots. Or if you're looking for something specific, like a certain skin, type that in. And sometimes you can get something like that. Uh, so today we're going to make the screenshot, or I'm sorry, the thumbnail that I'm going to use for tonight's stream. I'm actually recording this a day in advance. And we're going to play some dubs with subs. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use... I kind of like that one. Maybe I can add a little character to the side. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, choose save as. And this is a folder I have created, which is my stream stuff. And these are all my screenshots that I've used. Some of these you guys might recognize. These are screenshots that I've, I've saved in the past and used for my thumbnails. Uh, but to find this quicker, I'm going to call it AAA. That will be at the beginning of the list. And we saved it right there into my thing. So the next thing I want to do is I want to find some subject a subject matter because obviously this is pretty cool obviously but there's got to be something here that catches your attention so I'm gonna go into Google search and I'm gonna type in Fortnite skin and then I'm gonna type in PNG PNG is a type of file that they use where the background is clear it's a lot easier to use that thing when the backgrounds basically cut out um, but there's a lot to choose from look these are all you know, all the skins that you can use. Um, let's see if something, whoa, that's different. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's unique. Um, but let's see here, I use this one a lot. Maybe I'll use... Okay, there we go. We'll go ahead and just choose this one. This image here, hopefully it'll pop up. Oh, no, actually, let's just save it from here. And we'll go to save as. And this is a folder that I've set up for all my PNG files, which are the transparent files. And again, we're going to call this AAA and choose save. So that's the, uh, the, the main focus that we're going to have on. The... So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to start, you're going to open and create a, a new, a new file. And I usually keep mine at 800 width, oops, 800 width by 450 height. That's a typical uh, size for my, my screenshots. Some people like to make them bigger, but this seems to work out for me. Uh, then we're gonna go to, so this is basically, this is just the, uh, the background we're gonna use. So next thing you wanna do is go open, and you're gonna try to find the, the screenshot that we just did. So we'll go to screen, uh, streaming stuff, we'll go to screenshots, and we called it AAA, which is, I just saw it a second ago. There it is. So there's the image. So we have the image. Um, now we have two files open. You can see up here at the top left hand corner, we got this file and then we have our blank file. So the first thing we wanna do is size this down so that it will fit on that. So we go to image up here in the top left. It will go to image size. And again, we're gonna choose 800 by 450 and that sizes it down. Um, and you're gonna wanna copy and paste this over, so we're gonna highlight this, 
basically I chose this square right here, which lets you highlight. We're going to duplicate this layer. Then we're going to choose edit, copy. And then we're going to go over to the other file and choose edit, paste. And there we go. So there's the background. There's the background. There's the image. One thing you need to remember is over here on the right hand side, these are all these are all layers down here, you see. So if you put something on top of this one that's called layer one, it's gonna go over the top. If you put it down below it, it's gonna go below the layer. So let me show you another example here. So we'll go to open and we'll go find the banana we just chose, stream stuff. We're gonna look at PNG files and go to AAA. We're gonna size it down like we did before image size basically we need the height to be at around 450 the width doesn't matter obviously it's skinnier than the rest of the images as long as the height is around the same we're going to right click duplicate layer now we have two layers here and we're going to copy oops we're going to copy this edit copy edit paste so that looks kind of cool. That works. Um, not bad. But again, I'm going to show you. If you look over here on the right, I'm going to I'm going to explain these layers to you. So if we click on this layer and pull it down a little bit, you can see the white background. Now, if I take this layer and put it on top, it covers the other layer because this one's on top. So we need it to be on bottom. We're going to pull it back to where we got it, and that's pretty much how it's going to look for the most part. Next thing you want to do is you're going to make some sort of text that goes across the top. You can make it say whatever you want. So we're going to choose the letters here. And I like to just open it up like that. And you can call it whatever you want. In this case, I think I'm going to call it random duos. Excuse me. Um, and then we're going to highlight it and make it a little bigger. Random duos. Uh, let's call it, make it 120 pixel, pixels. That might work. Yeah, there we go. And of course, we can always move the banana because he's clearly covering the letters. I don't want to move them too much, actually. So this is what we'll do. We'll just put this on top. There we go. That could work. Uh, next thing I like to do is on the text on the text layer you can right click on it and we go to blending options and this will take you to a lot of things that'll make your stream very versatile or I'm sorry your thumbnail your thumbnail very versatile there's a lot of the different little things on the left here that you can choose from you can do beveled embossed which makes it look like it's kind of sticking out at you that's a fun one stroke is my favorite it adds a it adds a um, you know an outline to your text you have inner glow, or I'm sorry, inner shadow, which is kind of cool. Inner glow, satin, color overlay, which means you can turn it to any color. Gradient overlay, which adds a gradient to it. Uh, pattern overlay, which is a little silly, but sometimes it can be useful. Uh, outer glow is always good. And drop shadow, which adds a shadow to the background. So all these are really good. I'm going to obviously use stroke because it's my favorite. And it's very versatile. Once you click on it, you can make the stroke size bigger smaller I use to keep it around three and then you can make it whatever color you want so if you want the stroke to be white or even blue or yellow you know we can do yellow since you know the banana is yellow that could work just need to find the right color yellow let's see here yeah it's not too bad and then let's see here. I'd also like to use drop shadow. Drop shadow is one of my favorites. Obviously, you can make the distance. Look, obviously, drop, that's the drop shadow. We're gonna make it so that it's really not too far away. You change the spread and the size and all that stuff. And yeah, that looks pretty good. One thing I don't like right now is the color of the text, which is easy to fix. Just again, we click on it, highlight it, and then we can check change the color to really anything. We can do. Let's do something simple like black and see how that works. That's not bad. I can also make it transparent if I want to, if I would like to. That kind of looks cool. 
So there we go. Sort of a transparent one. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Now the next thing I want to add is I always add my little live streaming thing. So we're going to go open. I already have this one saved. Right here it is, live streaming. Image, let's see what size it is. I forget what size I have it at. That's probably a little too big. Let's do uh, 350. How about that? We're going to again, we're going to duplicate the layer. Hit OK. Edit, copy, edit, paste. So there it is. There's a little live streaming logo I like to have on the bottom of my screen. Again, we're going to go to blending options because I always have a border around it, a white border. So I know I'm going kind of quick for this, but I'm trying to make the video as short as possible. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That looks pretty good. I like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then once you get done with this, you can choose to save it. I would suggest saving it two different ways. The first way I always do is uh, save as, which I will go ahead and put it on the desktop, and it will save it as a PSD file. A PSD file, um, we're just gonna call this AA by the way. A PSD file is basically a file that you save that once you're done saving it, you'll be able to open it up and it'll open it up exactly as you edited it. So you'll have all these layers on the right side instead of having all the layers merged together and saved. Um, it'll it'll make it so and I'll give you an example here in a minute so we'll go ahead and save it as PSD put it on the front page and then we're also going to save for the web and this is one where it saves it basically as a JPEG file um, it's gonna save it as an actual image so you won't be able to edit it down the road but this is what you'll use to uh, save it and upload it to YouTube when you're ready so we'll go ahead and hit save again we're gonna put it on the desktop and we're gonna call it AA so that's pretty much it. So now anytime you want to open it, you can just open it and that's your that's your image right there. It's not bad, but let me show you one little trick that I always use. If you open, for example, I uh, go to stream stuff and I go to random duos, which is a folder I have saved. You can see I have a lot of PSD files saved. These are the little, blue little files. And what I'll do is I will, whenever I want to make a new, uh, for example, here, let me just open one of my most recent ones. So this is one I did a long time ago. You can see I have a lot of layers. It's because there's a lot of things that I've added to this. For example, let me get rid of this. Okay, so that that gets rid of the random duo. So I'm gonna keep that. And that, I'm gonna keep that. And then, as you can see, I've just added another picture on top of it. So I keep the text the same, I keep the live streaming thing down the same, so that my template is there, all I have to do is add an image to it. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could just go to File, actually we have it over here. Um, there's the banana, so we can go ahead and hit Edit Copy, oops, wrong one. And then we can go to Edit Paste, and again you'll see there's the banana. And we can basically recreate the image that I just made a minute ago, but we'll do it so that it matches all my other thumbnails here. So we'll go ahead and go to, which one is it? I believe it's this one. We'll go to edit, copy, and then we'll go to edit, paste, and then we'll move this down. And then we'll move, actually we need to move both these down. So let's move that down and move that down. Not bad. So obviously we want to change it where it says random duos. Uh, we're going to size this one down a little bit. I do like it, but it needs to be sized down a little bit. This one's at 120. We'll put it at 110. There we go. And if we want to make it the same, we'll go ahead and go to blending options. We'll go to stroke and we'll change it to that yellow color that we used just a minute ago. Oops, change the color entirely. Okay, and then we'll go to, okay, change the inside of the image to black. Hit okay, and 
we'll move the transparency down a little bit, make it a little bit more see-through. And as you can see, we basically just recreated what we had before. That's the original one that we just made. This is the one that we have now. Uh, we already had the template made. We had all the text layer. We had all the images there. We just needed to add a background image. So that's basically how I make my thumbnails. If you guys have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this video, you can hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time I upload a video or go live, uh, make sure you hit the bell notification. I appreciate your guys' support, and we'll see you on the next video.